What is up, scent head, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and this is Oh So Fresh. Ah! Yo, what is good, Fresh fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a freshie. It really means a lot. And if you're brand new here, welcome. As I said before, my name is Mega Dave. This is my channel, Oh So Fresh. I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love, and I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me a huge thumbs up. Really means a lot. It lets me know that you're supporting me. Also, think about subscribing and hitting the little notification bell down below so you don't miss when I drop my newest fire. And today is none different because I am dropping a spring fling bada bing. And it's none other than Satin Azure. All right, we all know what time it is. It's February. It's starting to warm up a little bit, and spring is in the air. Spring has sprung. For a lot of you guys, you have the luxury to have spring or summer all the time. I'm in Milwaukee, so we don't uh, we have seasons here. So uh, fragrances like this don't get a ton of use like they could with you guys. But spring is here. My top spring lists are coming, so I ordered a bunch of new what I thought would be great spring and summer releases. So all those are going to be coming back to back to back, back to back. And you can expect a lot of heat coming. Well, definitely it's coming because spring and summer mean hotter than winter. You get it. It's, but anyway, let's get it out of the way for anybody that doesn't know about this. Satin Azure is Dua's inspired expression from MDCI's Parfums Bleu Satin. One of the more modern uses of watermelon was put in here it's a summer banger but a lot of talk of a ventus clone a ventus uh, it is very fresh a ventus is such a, a awe-inspiring thing so anytime that something is super fresh as this is and such a good fragrance as this is uh, you automatically get uh you know ventus right off the bat everyone thinks that so let's get to why everybody is here and get to the scent breakdown. All right, we got our handy dandy tester here. As always, some drying down, just so I can get a little bit of the uh, the dry down. It's been on there for about three three or so hours, so we're gonna hit it. Mm. <laughs> it's nice. You guys be ready uh, for another banger. Jesus Christ, man, what are they doing over there? So right from the jump i know watermelon is one of the main notes but the very first thing that comes out to me is a bright bright juicy citrus the first thing that comes out is a freshly squeezed bright lemon citrus bomb that's very first up front and because of that it can definitely take a poseidon's cologne vibe aka an aventus cologne aventus type opening because of that bergamot uh, because of that bright, fresh citrus, you can definitely get a vibe to it. But trust me, things are about to change. Because a minute later, right after that, you get a, a woody green note that comes behind it. A uh, very fresh, very fruity green note that uh, you do not get in Aventus. So that goes right out the window. This is a standalone. It is very fresh. It is very good as Poseidon's clone as well. But right now, right now is when things start to change and for the better. As the mid starts to come on, you get more green, you get some light floral jasmine in there, you get like a watermelon rind type of green to it and a sexy fruity splash for your ass. That's the best way that I can describe it for you. It's a nice fruity surprise, uh, that's what she said. But uh, this is where things change. So the side-by-sides are done now Satin Azor has stepped up to the podium and, and Poseidon's Elixir has stepped down. Aventus has stepped down because now he's on his own and he's making a statement. The very biggest change that this gets is the dry down has an herbal, uh, earthy, woody tone to it where a lot of the Aventuses, the Poseidons, all those, they have a, a musky tone to them when they dry down. This keeps like an earthy tone i don't remember to see if patchouli was listed in this uh in the notes but it definitely has like an earthier tone to it to keep this very very masculine 
and a very manly leather type note to it too. So you get that burst of the citrus, the bergamot, you get that fruity splash for your ass. So you would tend to think this leans feminine. Mm -mm. Now you could see a woman pulling this off. I'm not sure about in the dry down because the dry down is manly. So I have uh, some laid here, a nice vanilla. You have a, a nice leather that comes through. And like I said, it's an earthier manly vibe to it. So it starts off very fruity, very fresh, very fun, very floral. <laughs> F -f -f -f. But it finishes one more F. That's the last one with a nice leather and an earthy. I want to say it like a patchouli because that's what I get from it. It's an earthier leather manly scent that dries down and it stays there for a long time too. So for performance with Satin Azure, I'm getting about six to seven. Now I do want to say that this is a newer acquisition for me. So it probably has new bottle syndrome, but still six to seven right out of the gate with this thing. And it's leading the pack with freshness uh, six to seven on me. And I got about an hour, hour and a half projection which is pretty solid for a freshie like this. I wanna get some more of that, that citrus. Mm. So this is definitely gonna be a staple and a rotation for spring. So you guys look out for my spring fling that's gonna happen here shortly. I'm gonna be doing a list for the top spring fragrances from Dua, of course. Uh, and this one definitely, I think, needs to get into rotation. Uh, if not going into summer as well, it is, it is a very nice, pleasant, I think not too many people will dislike this fragrance if you're a fan of citrus and bright and fresh, but you're also a fan of towards the end, like a manlier scent. This will definitely do it for you. I would imagine that after this sits for a while, it's going to get even better. So this hasn't for me moved into beast mode because we all know 10 plus is what I consider beast mode. This is above average. Like I said, six to seven, I can imagine probably it's going to get to the eight, eight ish range which is going to be very good. So that's what I have for you guys today for Satin Azure. I think this is still available on the website. If not, I'm sure he'll restock it at some point, especially before the spring and the summer gets here, because this one should be right up there next to all your elixirs, your mod threes. This thing needs to get play and it's going to be respected. I can tell you that much. So if you haven't smelled it, get your nose on it. And I love you guys so much until I see you again. Be blessed. And stay fresh. We got we shorties on the flow. We got we niggas on the floor. We got we got.